Chapter 2, Mishnah 8. We have learned many times that a food item must be at least the size of an egg to be able to transmit tumah. This means that it must hold the same volume as an egg. Now, even a food item that is the size of an egg does not necessarily consist of an egg's worth of actual food. It may contain pockets of air that contribute to its volume. The Mishnah discusses whether these air pockets are taken into account when measuring an item of food for the minimum size needed to transmit tuma. The tube-like leaves that grow from the tops of onions, which are hollow and sometimes fill with a sap, and the central stalks of onions, which are also hollow and sometimes filled with sap. If they contain sap, they are measured as they are, with the inside of the leaves and stalks counting toward the size of an egg, counting toward the size of an egg. But if they are hollow, the hollow must be compressed by squeezing the leaves and stalks to eliminate the empty space before measuring their size. The rule for bread. Sponge bread, i.e. soft bread that is similar in texture to sponge, is measured as it is, and the tiny pockets of air inside it count toward the size of an egg. The bread does not have to be squeezed to eliminate the tiny air spaces. However, if it contains a hollow, that hollow must be compressed to eliminate its air space between, before measuring its size of the bread. The rule for meat. The meat of a calf that swelled when it was cooked, and the meat of an older animal that shrank when it was cooked, are measured as they are now, after they were cooked. Even if they were originally larger or smaller, what counts is whether they are the size of an egg now.